Today it's going to be my first video game pickup video since I showed you my gaming setup. I did pick up quite a few games this month just because I found some really cheap local deals. I usually won't have this many games to show you, but I do have quite a few now. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you isn't a video game itself, but it's just like a little accessory. I just got this little tiny Yoshi doll. Um, I got them on eBay with shipping. It was like $5. I just got him so I could have some video game decorations sitting around. I thought he was pretty cute. Next, the, I got a couple accessories. I picked up two Super Nintendo controllers. I know it's not very exciting, but my system only came with one controller. So I was really excited when I found these. I got both of these for combined $4. So it's good to have some extra controllers around. Next, I'll start off, I got three Super Nintendo games. The first one I got was Super Mario World. I already do have a copy of this. Um, I just got this. I am going to be selling it on eBay. I got it for $2, so I really couldn't pass it up even though I had it. So I am going to be selling that. Next, I got another game that I am just going to be selling, which is Top Gear 3000. Once again, I got this one for only $2. I'm selling it on eBay, too. I tried it out, and it works, but... Racing games aren't my thing in general, so especially really old vintage ones just aren't for me. And the last game Super Nintendo I picked up is Tetris and Dr. Mario. I did try this game. Um, it was similar to Dr. Robotnik's for the Sega Genesis. I'm just really used to that, so I wasn't really a fan of this, so I am actually selling this one too. But it was also $2, so I really wanted to get it, try it out, and then I can probably make a little bit of money off of reselling it. Next, I'll show you the Nintendo 64 games I picked up. The first one I got, I got at CD Trade Post. Um, I got Earthworm Jim 3D. I didn't get too good of a deal on this since I did buy it in a store, but it just looked pretty fun and I wanted to try an Earthworm Jim game. Pretty sure this one isn't the best, but I have played it for a little while so far, maybe about an hour or two, and I have liked it. So I look forward to playing more of that. The next one is one I got on a really good deal locally. I am going to be actually selling this on eBay. But I got Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm just really not a fan of Zelda. Um, I tried one on the Super Nintendo. And I only tried this one for a few minutes. I just can't get into the series. Um, I got this locally for $2 also. So I really couldn't pass up getting that. But I am selling that. Next one I have, the next three are ones I am going to be keeping, along with Earthworm Jim. I got Super Mario 64. I also got this locally for $2. I think this one was $2.50, actually. Um, I haven't really played it yet, but from what I've seen online, it looks really fun. Most Mario games are really fun, so I really look forward to trying that out. The next game was also $2.50 locally. I got Donkey Kong 64. I wasn't aware that this is one of only a couple games that you must have an expansion pack for your Nintendo 64 to play. So I haven't been able to try this out yet because I need to try to locate a pretty affordable expansion pack before I can try this. But it does look pretty fun. The last Nintendo 64 game I had to show you I was pretty excited about finding. Um, it is complete and it is pretty collectible. I got Conker's Bad Fur Day. Um, I usually really don't care about games being complete, but I've been looking at this one online, and this seems pretty collectible, and it's worth quite a bit of money. Um, I have tried it out so far, and it's just, I've had a lot of fun playing it. I haven't played it for too long. The one thing I don't like is being a Nintendo 64 and being in 3D. I just am used to having two joysticks, so it's really hard to control your camera and your actions with just one joystick so I'm still getting used to that but this does have the manual and everything in here and I got all of this for only $25 which comparing it to eBay they usually go for around like 40 to over 50 thought it was a pretty good deal because it's all in pretty good shape so I'm really excited about picking up that game and I look forward to trying it out it does have a lot of crude humor in it and a lot of banter so it looks pretty fun uh, I just have one more game for now, and this is one I've really been looking forward to. It's the only game I have got for my current gen systems. 
I went out and picked up Uncharted 3. I got this the day after it came out, and so far I have to say it definitely hasn't disappointed. Um, if you've seen my previous video, you know that Uncharted is definitely my favorite series for the PlayStation 3 and one of my favorite series of all times. So I'm really glad that so far this game hasn't disappointed. I'm only on, I think, chapter 9 maybe, so I do have a couple hours into it, but I still have a long ways to go. I haven't checked out the multiplayer on it yet, but I plan on doing that probably this weekend. And it does look really fun. I really love the multiplayer on Uncharted 2. So I definitely don't think this will be a disappointment on here. So here are all my games again that I picked up. I will keep going with collection videos when I pick up new games. But like I said, I just picked up a lot this month just because I got such good deals. And I definitely won't be picking up this much usually. And my controller. So that is everything that I picked up. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it down there. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. As of making this video, I believe I need five more subscribers until I'm going to be having my first giveaway. So make sure to do that. Um, if you like any of these games, have problems with any of these games, know where I could find an expansion pack for this pretty cheap besides eBay. Leave a comment down below. Um, that is it for, for now. Until next time, keep it simple.